top of the morning, people. It's a benevolent day. If you woke up, you blessed. Because every day above ground is a great day. We have another shot at winning. We have another shot at making a move, making a difference. And you wasn't counted out. <laughs> um, you know, I want everybody to just be, be aware of your day. You know what I'm saying? What I mean by be aware of your day is, you know, sometimes I might go on an Arab store or a bodega and I might be first. And I might already have my money out. But they'll let somebody skip me and let them go first because the person might speak the same language as them. Might have the same culture as them. Or sometimes it might be the demographics. You know, there's times I go to a store, get a banana, you know, might get a protein drink. And the black dudes are coming from that community and they'll skip me. And I might be first, but they'll skip me. And they'll put their money on the counter so they can rush and be out first and everything. You know, I learned how to, um, you know, I step back and be like, yeah, brother, yeah, big man, you know, do, do what you do, it's your world. You know, I do things like that, right? Because that's all subliminal dark energy, right? And, and, and situations like that can turn life-threatening it can go the wrong way. So you gotta know how to be clairvoyant and see things before they happen. Sometimes I'll be on the bus and um, sometimes I'll be on the bus and um, before, I, um, before I'm able to get on the bus, the bus might stop directly in front of me where the door opens directly in front of me or even the train. But you will always have some person that will try to get in the door of the bus or the train before me. And I'm standing directly in front of the door, but they'll try to rush and get in first. Sometimes I step back. Yeah, brother. You know, especially if it's a fake tough nigga. Yeah, brother, it's your world. You know, you own the bus. You know, you the man or whatever. You know, do what you do. Yeah, you, you, you. Like, nah, you can go now. Yeah, you just want to go. Sometimes it might be a poppy or a mommy. Yeah, mommy, you go first, man. You know, Moreno's is last. The Moreno's is last. You know, you go first. And I ain't gonna lie. The sarcasm and doing these things is my way of um, of kind of venting because if I let it get to me, I'll, you know, I'll be back in jail and I'll hurt somebody. So, you know, it's always good to be aware of your day. You know, be aware how your day go, man, because I, I see a lot of funny shit every day that go on throughout every day. You know what I'm saying? From, like I told y'all, the bodega situation. Or sometimes I might go to the store and I put the money in a nigga hand. And then when they give me my money back, they put it on the counter. I don't go to that store no more. Or I might point it out. Like, yo, bro, put my money back on my fucking hand like I put my money in your hand. You know, all our subliminal shit. You know, be aware of your day. Be conscious of your day. You know, you got you got people that the whole train will be empty. It'll be seats everywhere, and they'll come and sit next to you. Or you have a dude that'll come on the, on, on the bus or some of the train, they listening to some rap, and, you know, sometimes the music make people feel tough or be aggressive. You got to know how to switch your seat or move to another side of the bus. You know... Just be aware of your day, you know, be aware of the energy. You know what I'm saying? Know how to dodge the dark energy. Last night I'm on 8th Ave heading the polo grounds. You know, I'm with, I'm, with, I'm with my strawberry, my chocolate strawberry. My body is bonkers. It's five niggas sitting on the bench. The dude, so it's me, her, and her son. And a dude shot a subliminal out. Oh, our friend zone niggas baby mothers. I started laughing, me and her started laughing like as we was walking by. Like I don't know what that meant, you know what I'm saying? And then she's not my baby mother, like that's somebody else's baby mother, that's just my shorty. You know, so the niggas like, yeah, all friends old niggas baby mothers, like he yelled that out, big stupid hood project nigga, he gonna die soon. Or he gonna die one day, cause he dumb. That wasn't even my baby mother. So, like, you know, sometimes dudes will shoot subliminals 
Try to fuck with your ego. See if you gonna be like, yo, fam, who you talking to? I ain't talking to you, my nigga, but what's up? You know, that, you know, try to bait me in or whatever. My nigga, like, you know, dudes is bugged out. And, 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 and then, you know, my, my strawberry, she did time like me, so she moved like a nigga inside a female body. You know, chicks don't be respected when niggas be doing fake tough shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Me and I laughed at all. We kept it moving. And then a nigga be a meatball to want to bone anything after niggas like me because I, I, you know, I do, I do things, man. I do strange things. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you know, like I don't even know why niggas, you know, you know. Sometimes you can't lust over another man's woman, shorty, whatever it may be, a chicky boning, because you might be taking, you might be lusted over another man's headache. Another man's trials and tribulations. And then, then, then not only that, if I see a female with a nigga and she got kids bomb, whether she do or she don't, I don't really want her because I'm like, this nigga nothing in this bitch or whatever, whatever. So when a dude want, when a man want something that another man has, that's kind of like subliminal homosexuality because why would you want the same chick he got? Like, don't you think he's nothing in her or nothing in her mouth or... Or whatever it may be, I'm not trying to be derogatory f- towards women, but I'm saying be mindful of your day. You know, you got jealous individuals out there. They want what you want. Whether it's the job you got, whether it's the, the female you, you dealing with, or, it, you know, it could be anything. You might be fresh to death. You know, you might be you might be dressed nice, and the nigga mad because you balenciaga it up, or... Or you might have a tracksuit on, but the way you look, you look fly, you look clean. You know, people will be mad at you because of that, because you're, you're, you're happy. You know, just be mindful of your day. That's all I'm saying. Be mindful of your day, man, because there's a lot of dark energy out there. There's a lot of miserable people out there. There's a lot of broke people out there. And they just always want to jam somebody up, start trouble, and fuck another person's bag up. Fuck another person's life up. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. I'm Toya, man. Did it lag? Blessings. All right, brother. You too. I see you later, inshallah. So yeah, they always want to um fuck another person's bag up, or try to fuck a person's day up, or steal your joy. You know. So just be mindful of your day, ladies too. Be mindful of your day. You know, cause I know y'all go through a lot of catty, competitive, jealous stuff with other women. I know y'all get harassed by guys, and guys are, yo, shorty, come here, you know, especially if y'all attractive and got a nice body. I can imagine, like, women get, like, three billion hollers a day. That shit get, that shit get annoying sometimes. Especially if you know dudes is just seeing you as a sex object, or they seeing you as a, as a, as a, as a fornicative instrument. But yeah, that's just my spill, man. Be mindful of your day, that's it, man. Appreciate being alive. And being able to live another day and be mindful of your day. Be mindful how you spend your time, too. Like, that's my Muslim brother that just went by, but I know he's long-winded. So I shook his hand and let him keep it moving because I'm doing, I'm doing a blog. You know, you might, you might have a plan for your day. You might have your whole day planned out, and you might run into a female friend you know or a male friend you know, and that nigga long-winded, and he, they're chatty-patty. And they gonna talk long and hold you up. Next thing you know, 20, 30 minutes went by and, and you haven't accomplished, you know, you probably missed the task that you had to accomplish at that specific time. Because that's how my day is. I might have 20, 30 obstacles per day. And if I don't complete one of those obstacles out the 30, I should have thrown my whole day off. I, I feel fucked up like, damn, I didn't get this accomplished today. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever, whatever. Bar. So, you know, just be mindful of your day. Be mindful of your time. Time management is important. Be mindful of people with dark energy. Be clairvoyant. Know how to see things ahead of time before it happened. Whether it's bad or good. Iron, intelligence, rule over negative nonsense. War law, wisdom and righteousness is law over reckless decisions. Stay up like a cup. I holler back on my collar crack. We get up like sit-ups. Uno.